Welcome to the weekly weather briefing for the Inland Northwest from the National Weather Service in Spokane for the week of November 21st. It's shaping up to be an active week weather-wise for the busy Thanksgiving travel period. A series of storm systems will impact the region, especially late week. This will bring snow to the mountains and area mountain passes, and rain and snow to lower elevations. As the week progresses, snow levels will gradually decrease in elevation. As we look at the big picture here, a couple of low pressure systems, as well as various disturbances that will spin off from them, are lined up over the Pacific Ocean. The first will impact the inland northwest by Tuesday night and Wednesday, and a colder and wetter system will arrive by Thanksgiving Day and Friday, and yet more disturbances impacting the region this coming weekend. As previously mentioned, snow level elevation will decrease as the week progresses. This cooling trend is also evident in te the temperature forecast for cities and towns across the region. High temperatures in the 40s early this week will give ways to highs in the, in the 30s and low 40s by late week. Tuesday will be fairly quiet for most locations. Morning fog is expected across the Columbia Basin, West Plains, and Northern Mountain Valleys. There is a chance of a few flurries or light snow showers across the northern mountains in the morning, but these are not expected to have much of an impact. As we head into the afternoon, we expect some light snow showers to be found across the Cascades ahead of our incoming storm system. Our first storm system of the week approaches by Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Rain, which is denoted by the green shades, will be, on, will be the predominant precipitation type across the Columbia Basin and Palouse including the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene areas. A mix of rain or snow, denoted by the light, lighter blue shades, is to be expected across the northern Washington and Idaho mountain valleys. The main impact from this system will be with snow, denoted by the darker blue shades. Accumulating snow is expected at most of the area mountain passes and could lead to travel impacts. A colder and wetter storm system makes its way into the region by Thursday and will once again lead to snow across the mountains and area mountain passes with rain across portions of the Columbia Basin. This system will carry a better chance of snow or a rain-snow mix down to lower elevations such as the Spokane Coeur d'Alene Metro and areas along Highway 2 across the basin and Highway 195 across the Palouse. Again, travel impacts from accumulating snow are expected at mountain passes such as Lookout, Stevens, and Snoqualmie. Yet another disturbance will be on the approach for Friday and will feature a similar precipitation scenario as was discussed for Thursday. The difference will be slightly higher snow levels that may allow a mix of rain or snow to change over to just rain. Again, accumulating snow and travel impacts are once again expected at area mountain passes such as Lookout, Stevens, and Snoqualmie. In addition to the snow and rain chances, breezy southerly winds are expected during the day Thursday and Friday. Wind gusts up to around 30 miles per hour are possible across the Columbia Basin, Palouse, and West Plains. The weekend will continue to be active with precipitation chances. There is still plenty of uncertainty in how this weekend's weather may play out, but it appears mountain pass snow will continue to be an issue. Impacts and precipitation type at lower elevations is less certain, but accumulating snow in the valleys, especially at night, appears possible. Those with travel plans are encouraged to keep up to date with the latest forecast as details become more clear. Looking ahead at the next 6-10 to 10 days from the Climate Prediction Center. The unsettled and active pattern appears to continue into next week with increased odds of above normal precipitation. No clear signal in the temperature trend is present. So recapping everything we've talked about, an active Thanksgiving travel week appears to be in store weather-wise. A series of systems mid to late week will bring accumulating snow to area mountain passes and rain or snow to lower elevations. This will likely lead to travel impacts in the Thursday through Sunday time period, especially across area passes. Breezy conditions are also expected on Thursday and Friday. Be sure to stay informed with the latest uh, forecast if you have travel plans over this Thanksgiving week by visiting our website or liking and following us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a safe week everyone and happy Thanksgiving!